So we're going to work through an example of determining the pH of a salt solution. So we want to calculate the pH of 0.075 molar KCN. And so initially, whenever I look at this, I'm looking at, hey, KCN doesn't have a proton. How can it be acidic? Okay. So that's where we have to look at each of these ions interacting with water to see what we're looking at, if it's producing H plus or if it's producing OH minus. Hmm. What also would be given in this problem is Ka for HCN is 4.9 times 10 to the negative 10. All right, so kind of our first question of what we're looking at is we have to figure out what type of salt is KCN. So that's just like what we did on the previous uh, video on the previous page. Basically, we want to look at each ion and how it's going to interact with water. So we have K plus plus water. If this is going to react, K plus is going to kick out H plus. So we'll have KOH plus H plus. KOH is a strong base. So in fact, the reverse happens. So we're not producing H plus. If we look at CN minus interacting with water, it's going to kick out OH minus. So we'll have HCN plus OH minus. HCN is a weak acid. So in fact, we are in equilibrium, so we are going to produce some OH minus. So what that tells us is KCN is a basic salt. So this is the equilibrium that we're wanting to look at for our ICE table. So we're going to have to figure out how much CN minus is actually in our solution. So if we look at our KCN that we're starting with, when it splits apart, it is a strong electrolyte, so it splits completely apart. So just for complete sake, I want to show that as the entire ICE table. It's good practice. So we have 0 0.075 molar to start with. None of our ions. All of this is going to dissociate. So we'll have no KCN left and 0 0.075 molar of each of our ions. So this now becomes our initial concentration of CN minus in this equilibrium here. So we can figure out our concentration of OH minus. So we have CN minus plus H2O in equilibrium with HCN and OH minus. So this is our initial concentration. We don't care about water. We have nothing of our other two components. Our change is minus X plus x and plus x. Let's assume that our x is negligible. So our concentration of Cn minus remains our 0 0.075. We want to use our equilibrium expression. And this is a base 
So KB is equal to HCN times OH minus divided by CN minus. And we're given a KA value. So using our expression from yesterday, we know KB is going to be equal to KW divided by KA. So let's just do that very quickly. So our value for KB We have 0 0.00004204. So now we can use that to solve for our x value. So I calculate x equal to 0 0.0012. If I check my approximation, divide that by our original concentration. We get 1.6%. So our approximation is OK. So I know that our concentration of OH minus is equal to 0 0.0012. If I take the negative log of that, I get my pOH of 2.9. I'm looking for my pH, which is 14 minus 2.9 which is 11.1. So the pH of our salt solution of 0 0.075 molar KCN is 11.1, so it's fairly basic. When we reconvene for lecture again, I'll do another example of this so we can just get some more practice. And then in the last section of the book, we will learn a new definition for acids and bases and just look at that um, very briefly.